Emotions, pancakes, and planes are flying high this weekend as the Great Plains Wing hosts its annual event at the Council Bluffs Municipal Airport. IWTV student Cohen Goldsmith has more. The Great Plains Wing seeks to bring history alive with the help of volunteers and the Pancake Man's specialty flapjacks. I mean, what better way to honor our military veterans than to have a flight breakfast and pancake feed um, at a military aircraft museum the day after D-Day? Decades ago, the Air Force was an integral part to the success of D-Day. Today, the P-51D model Mustang serves as a crucial role for the Great Plains Wing. The aircraft uh, travels all over the country doing air shows. With maintenance fees on the old Warbird averaging about $50,000 annually, the museum gets help from many of its allies. It's not uncommon for somebody to show up out here on Wednesday evening or Saturday telling us that they had gone through their grandparents' attic and they found something that they thought we might be interested in. So a lot of the things we have in the museum are on loan to us. In addition to accepting donations, retired pilots and Air Force members put their skills to use. We sell rides in the airplane, that's how we support and maintain the aircraft. It takes a lot of money, as you can imagine, to keep these old warbirds flying. Veterans and those who work closely with the commemorative Air Force continue to search for those who can rise to the occasion. If you have an aspiration or an inspiration to uh, help maintain military aircraft, we would love to have you come out and join us. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Colin Goldsmith. You can check out over 1,500 artifacts from around the world for free at the museum or sign up for a plane ride at the Council Bluffs Municipal Airport.